Hey everybody, welcome to MTV and welcome back to my MLB The Show 20 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 18 and here we are for this July 31st game. And we got Steven Matz on the mound against the 9-5 Pablo Lopez. We're going to be playing Miami Marlins in New York. Uh, but we, before we get started, I just want to see if I can pull off this little experiment here. I want to call up Tim Tebow and I want to play this game. <laughs> I want him to play his game. Oops, I need to call somebody down. Um, so I was gonna call down. Um, I want to call down. I want to call down. Who's my worst pitcher here? Sorry, Simber. You're playing pretty well. I feel bad though. <laughs> I don't want to call anybody. I don't want to call anybody down because. They've all been playing so well, but hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Eduardo Nunez, he's been valuable because he can play shortstop and all that stuff. <sighs> see, let's see who has the worst ERA out of all of the uh, relief pitchers here. Benz is 1.42. For Scott Barlow. Okay, Scott Barlow is the odd man out. Sorry, buddy. You're going to AAA for a little bit. Let's we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're going to be playing Tim Tebow. Uh, you know, uh, sporadically. And we're going to see what we can do here with the former Bronco. Putting two to John Birdie. That's a strikeout. For Steven Matz is his first of the game. Don't play ball. You know it's second. All right, there's a double play. A little slow, but quick enough to get it out. Ah, so really going to right center field. It's going to be at least a double for the catcher. And now the debuting Tim Tebow. That looks so weird. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. And there are two. That was a ground of Tim Debo. Doing a 3-2 count. Getting a good hit on it, but just to the second baseman. Swing it. Going a little blooper. And it. Oh my gosh. What a catch. How do I field her? There you go, Rosario drops in the first base hit for the Mets. This is going to be at least a double. So quick. That is Ahmed Rosario with a double here in the fifth inning, and that's the Mets' first base hit of the game. Oh, that is a tiebreaker. That is Jeff McNeil with a home run. That is number 21 of the year, going 412 feet. All right, man. I like it. Finally, someone scored in this game. That is Alonzo also with a home run of his own. That is easily out here hitting the little walkway for the Great Wall of Flushing. That is number 48 for Pete Alonzo. And that was a rope. Back to back home runs for the Mets. And they're up 2 0 here in the sixth. It was only a matter of time until the Mets broke open here. So we're going to replay. Low pitch, too. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Get out of here in a hurry. And you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing Oh my gosh, that is the third home run of this inning. Take out Pablo Lopez. This game is over. That is a two run shot by Michael Conforto. It's going to be 4 nothing. 
That is number 29 for Michael Conforto going 431 feet. What happened? Five great innings from Pablo Lopez and all of a sudden giving up three home runs. Or three home runs in an inning and four straight base hits. This one going to the right field. This is going to be home run too. No, it hits the wall. This is going to be a double for Pete. A stand up double for Alonzo. I thought he had enough power to go opposite field into the stands, but hitting at the top of the wall. He's going to drop. Alonzo's going to round third. Play at the plate, and he's going to be safe. As an RBI single for Robbie Cano, and things are 5 to 1 here in the eighth inning. Right. One, two to Hal Ramirez. Got him swinging the slider. Ball game over. And the Mets win 5 to 1. It was a crazy tight ball game in the beginning. But uh, the home runs in the, in the sixth inning just blew everything open. Steve, uh, Pete Alonso played the game 2 for 4 with 2 RBIs. Steve Mass, the winning pitcher. Seven innings pitched, one earned, uh, one strikeout, five hits, no earned runs. What a game from the young fellow. Okay, so we win. We're on a giant winning streak. We start from this game against Seattle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's try it again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got a twelve game winning streak. I had to count twice because I did not believe it. We got a twelve game winning streak going into August. We're gonna be facing Miami for us for the rest here. And we're gonna be having who is this? Rick Procell up on the mound next. It's gonna be against the Dodgers. It's gonna be the opening game, so we're gonna sim it all the way up to here. We, Corey Taylor, yada yada. Let's see. I'm gonna sim it. And the Mets win. Nice. And the Mets win. Mets win. Ah, we lost two in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, we won 12 to 3. Okay. So now, we got Clayton Kershaw against Rick Porcello. Kershaw, 86 with a 3.0 BRA. We're going to be facing the, 40, uh, the 73 and 43 Los Angeles Dodgers, 76 and 38. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show, New York Mets franchise. If you did, click that like button, leave any comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.